Welcome back to Homeo Vision and a very good day to all of you watching this video. I am Dr. Gautami Deshmukh and I will be doing a series of videos and lectures on Organon of Medicine and Homeopathic Philosophy. In this video, let us discuss the first aphorism and its footnote written by Dr. Samuel Handman in his sixth edition of Organon of Medicine. So as you can see here, uh, this first aphorism has the aphorism itself and we have a footnote to this, to this aphorism. Let us read the first aphorism. In this aphorism, Hahnemann tells us that the physician's high and only mission is to restore the sick to health and to cure as it is termed. So here, in this aphorism, Hahnemann is trying to tell us what the primary duty of a physician is what uh, what is the objective or what is the most important duty of a physician is so here we can see that Hahnemann has used this phrase the high and only mission physicians high and only mission so what he is trying to tell us here is that a physician has a number of roles to play a physician uh, has to be a therapeutist sometimes as in uh, dispensing uh, medicines to cure people. He will have to be a diagnostician sometimes. He will have to be a prognostician sometimes. And sometimes he will also have to be a preserver of health and also a person who prevents diseases. So amongst all these roles that a physician has to play, the highest and the most important role that a physician uh, will have to play is restoring the sick to health. Here we can see that a very new phase, this is a uh, for beginners, this phrase is going to um, seem very new. What does this mean? What does restoring the sick to health mean? In homeopathy, what we will have to understand is that we do not use the word disease or sickness. So we do not use the word disease or sickness. <clears throat> Instead, we use the word sick. So here, sick is the man who is suffering from a particular disease. So the sick refers to the entire man, to the whole man. He is the whole man who is suffering from the disease. So here, restoring the sick to health means we have a man who is in a diseased state, okay? We have a man who is in a diseased state and we have to bring this man back to his original healthy state. So this is what Hahnemann is trying to tell us. Hahnemann also tells us that there are no diseases, but there are sick people, there are sick men. We do not have diseases as such. Diseases are just names that are given to the suffering of uh, men, but what? Uh, but what we see in reality is the man who is suffering. It is the man who is suffering, and the sick man is whom we have to cure. So this is what Hahnemann is trying to tell us. So here, according to Hahnemann, cure means um, bringing back a man to his healthy state from his diseased state. There is also one more concept that we will have to understand. Um, <clears throat> removing a symptom or removing a disease is as simple as you have a fever, you give him, you give this patient an antipyretic and the fever is not there. So what have we done here? What we have done here is a mere removal of the symptom. We have just removed the symptom. When there is a fever and you give this person an antipyretic, you are just removing the symptom. This is not something that we want in homeopathy. We do not want this. We do not want to simply remove the fever from this patient. Instead, we want him to, we want to restore him to his healthy state. So in the background of this, we have to um, come across one more um, concept and that is vital force. Whenever the vital force we have something called as a vital force in our body. And whenever the vital force 
is uh, is an equilibrium whenever the vital force is working harmoniously or whenever it is in harmony we have something called as a healthy state or we have health so in homeopathy hanuman defines health as a state where the vital force is harmoniously functioning whenever this vital force so we have vital force whenever the vital force is disturbed or whenever the vital force is deranged disturbed or deranged that is when we call it as a diseased state and whenever the vital force is deranged we see that um this deranged vital force will express itself in the form of symptoms in the form of multiple symptoms so that is how um that is how a disease is expressed or that is how a disease is represented so this is the concept of disease in homeopathy what happens in the popular system of medicine or what happens in allopathy is that they just try to remove this particular symptom and call it as cure but in homeopathy we try to um, we try to treat the root cause that is we want to uh, treat the deranged vital force uh, the diseased vital force has to be brought back to its healthy state so this is what hanman means when he says restore the sick to health so it is the man whom we have to treat it is the uh deranged vital force it is a suffering man whom we have to treat and not the mere removal of diseases or not the mere removal of a symptom this is what he says in this aphorism now in the background of this <clears throat> we have the footnote coming up as we can see uh, we have a huge footnote to this aphorism uh, one what i will do is i'll give a brief gist of what this footnote means and then let us have a look at uh, the meaning of few of the words uh, in this footnote so hanuman was um, not happy with what the doctors of his time were doing he says that the doctors um, of his time were more concerned about coming up with explanations as to how a disease was being caused how a disease progressed inside the internal organism he says that physicians were wasting all their time and talent in guessing and coming up with theories as to how a disease progressed inside the organism he says that the primary role or uh, the mission of a physician is not to come up with theories that explain diseases he says that the high and only mission of a physician is to cure the sick is to help those patients who are suffering from a disease but the doctors of his time were more concerned with coming up with theories uh and giving countless explanations about these diseases and what these physicians did was they did all this guesswork they came up with all these theories and they put forth all these theories in front of the uh patients and these patients would obviously be shocked they would be astonished by listening to all these huge huge um uh, medical terms um uh, those words some words that they could not understand so they this is not what the patients wanted that is what hanuman is trying to tell us in this footnote the role of a physician is not to give explanations about diseases to the patients instead he should relieve them from their suffering the patients do not want any explanations as to how a disease is progressing inside the organism all they want is relief from suffering so he says the doctors of his time were cheating all the patients they the physicians were deceiving the uh, sick by uh, giving all these countless unintelligible uh, complicated explanations but he says it is now high time to stop doing all of this it is high time to stop deceiving the patients and now is the right time to start acting towards helping and curing the sick this is what he says in this uh, footnote now let us have a look at a few of the words he says um, in this footnote his mission is not however to construct so called systems by interweaving interweaving is combining or mixing empty speculations speculations means guesswork okay guessing 
they just merely guessed how a disease was taking place because the technology in those times were not as advanced as it is now speculations hypotheses are theories that were not yet proved hypothesis concerning the internal essential nature of the vital processes and the mode in which diseases originate in the invisible interior of the organism where on so many physicians have hitherto ambitiously wasted their talents and their time nor is it an attempt to give countless explanations regarding the phenomena in diseases and their proximate cause which must ever remain concealed so he says the physician's work is to not give explanations about the cause or the progress of a disease inside the organism it is better if it is concealed rather than unintelligible words unintelligible means impossible to understand so all these theories were presented to the patient uh, in unintelligible words in ways that the that a layman could not understand and an inflated abstracted mode of uh, abstract mode of expression inflated is uh a small issue being presented as a huge problem inflation inflated and an inflated abstract mode of expression which should sound very learned in order to astonish the ignorant while sick humanity sighs and wail for aid of such learned reveries so uh, to which the name theoretic medicine is given and for which special professorships are instituted so he says to all these theories and explanations that were merely based on guesswork was given a term and that was theoretic medicine and to this theoretic medicine special degrees were given we have had quite enough and it is now high time that all who call themselves physicians should at length cease to deceive suffering mankind with mere talk and begin now instead for once to act that is really to help and to cure if there are any doubts or questions regarding aphorism number 1 and its footnote please feel free to put up your questions in the comment section do like and subscribe the channel for more content thank you